Hey everyone. So for the past couple of months now, I've been building a network of transit lines on a brand new world that will be used in the upcoming Minecart Rapid Transit multiplayer server. Now most of the work on this world has been completed, and I'm pleased to announce that the world is now available as a download, so you can go explore it in your own single player game. The link to that download is in this video's description. I should warn you that the download is quite large, it's at least 600 megabytes, and it's so large I had to split up into four files. But as long as you download all four files and unzip them correctly and put them in the right location, you should be able to load the save file just fine. Now also in this video, I'd like to give you guys a quick tour of Spawn Station. That's the thing you see in front of you right now. Spawn Station will be used as the central hub uh, for the whole transit system, and it's where all four lines will meet up. That is the blue, green, yellow, and red lines. So without further ado, uh, let's go take a look. Alright, so here we are in front of Spawn Station. So let's go through this entrance here. Alright, so here we are in the main lobby of Spawn Station. As you can see, it's quite vast and spacious. And the first thing I wanted to show you is this thing over here. This is a replica map of the whole transit system. As you can see, all four lines are nice, nicely color-coded, and this map allows you to easily see which parts of the map are serviced by which lines. Also, major stations in, are labeled with a sign. So here we got Spawn Station, that's where we are now. And all, the sign also has the map coordinates in X and Z values. Now I've given names to also the terminus stations of each line. So for example, we've got Audenville station over here, and that is the east terminus of the red line, as you can see here. And there are also some more signs over here for other terminus stations. But for all the other stations, that is the ones in between uh, the terminus and the spawn station, those stations are currently unnamed. And the idea here is that as when the server uh, goes up and people start building things next to these stations, I'll be taking in suggestions for uh, names for those stations from the players. So that'll be some cool stuff. That'll, that'll provide some incentive for people to build some cool stuff. And if they build something cool, they'll have the station named after it. So that's enough of that. Uh, over here we got the actual spawn point. Uh, this is where people will first uh, come in. So you got the map on your left, and on the right hand side, it's currently empty, uh, this is where I plan to put all of the server rules, administrative stuff, uh, announcements, news, that sort of thing. So I think it should be plenty of space for that sort of thing. Alright, so that's enough of the lobby. Let's go take a look at the actual station portion of the station. So here we got the let's say we got a staircase going down at the blue and red line, so let's go take a look down here go down one level, and here's the blue line level here. So uh, here we got the blue line, it goes from this Nant Haven in the southeast to Gund Valley in the northwest. And this level has quite, it's quite a large. Um, uh, it could be used as some sort of underground mall of some kind, so a lot of stores and shops could be put here. Um, I'll have to fiddle around with the permissions. And it's not just this level too, there's actually one more level uh, below this because of all the of this, this needs to be space for the dispenser. As you can see, there's glass windows there. So here we got even more space for shops and other things. And below this is the red line. Uh, this is a east-west line that goes from Audenville in the east to Mycelium in the west. And Mycelium, uh, as you see in the time-lapse video, that is the uh, Mushroom Island. And to get there, actually, the red line actually goes to an underwater, underground air uh, track. So. There's a red line station there, all ready to go. Let's make our way back upstairs so I can show you the other lines. And I've also made sure to put a lot of good signage around to, so you can see there's an exit and also shows you where you can access uh, the other line. So say you're coming in from on one line to spawn station and then you want to transfer to another line. Uh, I, I wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to get a uh, transfer to other lines and make sure they know where they're going. So here's the staircase up to the green and yellow line. So let's take a look up here. A nice view outside there. And here's the green 
uh, line station here. Uh, this one goes from northeast to, from Prueborn to the southwest uh, to Kalmar. And over here we got the yellow line. Uh, this is the U-shaped line that goes from northeast from Morningside to the southeast to a place called Chuna. Now, most of these names, I just simply made up these names. Um, uh, it's just me and my imagination. Hope I like original names for my stations. I don't like uh, uh, very generic names or you know, just something to give the service some character. So, all right. So here we are. Uh, Here's the yellow line station, and it's got a un unique roof. This is the very top of Spawn Station. It's a pyramid roof, which I think looks kind of nice. And I think it's pretty unique, because I don't think any of the other stations have this sort of thing. And yeah, that is pretty much what I wanted to show you. So there's the world is finished, but the server still needs to be set up. The, a lot of plugins and permissions that have to be set up. I'm totally new to this sort of thing, so I'll be taking the time to learn about uh, server administration and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know when it'll be ready. I, maybe sometime, probably this summer, I hope, before, or at least before the summer finishes. I, that's my guess, but uh, no guarantees there. So, yeah. Um, so, I hope you enjoy the world download. Feel free to put any comments or any improvements that you think might be needed. Uh, but generally the world is pretty much finished and I don't think I'll be making too many more changes. Uh, I'll be just focusing mostly again on trying to get the server up so you guys can uh, join up and uh, build some stuff on here and you know create a community and all that stuff. Good stuff. So, Alright, so that's all I want to show you. Uh, thanks for watching.